Hey, welcome back. I'm Sean Barn at Looking Point. We help IT organizations make decisions around collaboration, security, and networking. Today we're talking about a Cisco 9200 series switch and how to reset the password. For those of you that want to get right into it, don't care about all the gory details, I'll just give you a rundown. You're going to power up the switch with a console connected. As soon as you power it up, there's going to be some blinky lights over here on the right hand side of the switch. You're going to press this button a few times. It's going to bring you into the boot loader. Once there, you're going to tell it to ignore the configuration and you're going to boot it from flash. Once the switch boots up, you can get into enable configuration mode and reset the password. You'll reset the device again, press the mode button again, and tell it to pay attention to the configuration. That's a quick and dirty on how to reset the password. We're going to go into all the details right after this. Let's go! All right, we're back and we're going to be resetting a password on a Cisco 9200 series switch. In order to do that, we need a couple things. We need a console cable, which I have here. It's a USB uh, to console server, or, or USB to console port, actually. And then I've connected a Cisco rollover cable, which connects to the back of the switch in the console port. Now, modern day laptops, they have USB-C connections, so I have a USB-C to USB port. Then I've got the USB console server, then our console connection, console cable, whatever you want to call it. And then I've got the uh, Cisco rollover cable, which goes to the back of the console port. There is another option, which is to use a USB cable to the back of the switch and plug it directly into your laptop. I prefer a traditional USB port. So in order to get started, what we're going to do is we're going to power up the switch. As soon as I see some blinky lights here, I'm going to tap this gray button here on the front of the switch a number of times. It's going to drop us into boot mode. I'm going to issue some commands, and uh, you'll see that on the screen recording. Once that happens, I'm going to reboot the switch again, and it's going, or I'm going to continue booting the switch, and then I'm going to reset the password. I'm going to reboot it again, tell it to pay attention to the configuration, but I'll have access to the switch. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the uh, port here, or the power, and we're going to flip over to my console port, which it should start showing it initializing the switch, which we see. I'm going to see some blinky lights here, and I'm just going to press this button a couple of times as it's going. And really, what I've noticed through this is the time to really press it is after it's kind of, it says it's current ROM on image and tells you about that. I'm going to press it, keep pressing it, and then it's going to eventually drop us in the switch config. All right, so it's dropped us into the switch config, and the first thing I'm going to do, these commands, we're going to be doing a setting, or we're going to be setting a setting, and the settings themselves are case sensitive. Uh, so if you type them in lowercase, they will not work. So we're going to type switch underscore ignore underscore startup underscore CFG equals one, and that is going to tell it to ignore the switch config. And then I can type just in normal case, boot flash colon packages dot com. And it'll start loading. So this is gonna take a few minutes and we will cut to when it finally boots up. All right, so now we're here where our switch is booted up and we've told it to ignore the configuration. I'm gonna hit return and it's gonna bring me right into the switch prompt. So you'll see it didn't prompt me for any type of authentication. That's because our command that we put on the switch told it to ignore the configuration. So this switch in theory, well, right now, it does not have a configuration loaded on it. So I'm gonna type enable and then I'm going to I can do two things. One is I can copy the startup configuration to the running configuration. And if I do that, it'll pull back the config that's stored here and I could reset the password. So in my case, I really don't care about the configuration, so I don't really don't want to care to see it. But for the example, I will uh, I'll actually pull the config in. So if you're trying to save your config, you could see that. But if you didn't really care about the configuration on it, you could just write the configuration right now as is, and it would default the configuration. You could do that. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type copy startup 
config to running config. And what that's gonna do is copy the startup configuration that's saved on the, on the flash here, and it's gonna pull it into the running. So what we're gonna see is it's gonna load all the configuration and syn syntax, and it's gonna ask me the destination name, I'm gonna hit return, and it's gonna do some things here, and we'll probably see some, some stuff, and you'll see that I'm in PH switch six. And so uh, now I could actually set the enable password. Um, I'm gonna just do uh, configuration mode, put it in, conf in configuration mode. I'm gonna configure username. Uh, I'm gonna configure Cisco, privilege level 15, and a secret password of Cisco, and hit enter. And then I'm gonna type enable secret Cisco. And that's going to set my two login, my it created a user account and password of Cisco Cisco, and it created the secret of Cisco. Um, and so now I'm gonna write my configuration. And now what I'll do is reboot the switch, press the mode button again to get back into the configuration mode and tell it to not ignore the startup config. So I'm gonna unplug it and we're gonna plug it back in and wait for the mode button. See some blinky lights and I'll be watching the con console over here. And once I see an indication that it's loading, I'm gonna start pressing the mode button. Now, what, there's a lot of instructions out there that tell you you gotta press the mode button right away. You're gonna see it boot up. So it's not instantaneously that you're, you're pushing the mode button. It's just, you'll see it pop up in the console and you'll start pressing it and you'll be in good shape. And so right now I'm not even pressing the mode button. Now I'm gonna press it and it dropped me into the switch config. So you saw that there was, I don't know, 15, 20 seconds of time where I was just waiting to press the mode button and now I did and now I'm in the switch mode. So again, uh, this, this portion is gonna take um, all caps. I'm gonna say switch underscore ignore underscore startup underscore CFG equals zero. So this is saying don't ignore start a config and I'm going to type boot flash colon packages dot conf and it's going to be booting and we'll come back once it's booted up okay so now the switch is loaded we've told it to pay attention to the config and it's telling me return press return to get started so I'm going to press return and it should prompt me with a username and we reset ours to Cisco and we set the password to Cisco. And here we are, we're logged into the switch. And if I type enable, we reset the enable password to Cisco. And you can see I logged into the switch. So we've successfully saved the config on the switch and reset the username and password. So we have access to it um, to do whatever we need to do. Okay, so to recap what we did here, we got a console cable, we put it into the console port, we powered on the switch, we waited for it to get to the loader uh, or start booting up the switch, and we'll see that on our console. And then we will tap the button here on the front of the switch. That'll drop us into the switch boot loader. From there, we need to make sure when we set the command to ignore the configuration, that is case sensitive. So we need to make sure that that's all in uppercase. We set that, and then we tell it to continue booting. It will ignore the configuration on that first boot. We go in and copy the startup config to the running config. Once we're at that point, we will change the passwords, create a username, whatever you need to do for your particular configuration. In our case, we set a username and password and also set the enable password. Um, then we are gonna save that configuration, reboot, go back into the bootloader, tell it to pay attention to the startup config, let it continue to boot, and then we were able to log in with the switch. So, back to the console port. This is a 9600 baud. Uh, is the standard uh, console speed for a console port. We just used, like I said, a USB to console cable. We're using secure CRT as the console um, emulator so that we could get access to the console port. There's a ton of them out there. Um, and those are the key things. It's console and power, pretty simple. If I said anything in this video that you're like, hey, I'd love to know more about that, make sure you leave a comment, make sure you like and subscribe so you get all of our content as we release it, and we will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.